So talk a little bit more about the diagnostic process. So you had myelodysplastic syndrome or MDS yes. before the AML. And, and what, uh, what was involved in the diagnosis of your AML? What was the process that you went through? Um, well, at first, I, I couldn't get out of bed. I was just exhausted. I was always sleeping, I mean, to the point where I was so tired that I didn't even put the TV on in the bedroom. I was just, like, unconscious all the time. And the bruising. Um, I'd been bruising for a while. And one night, uh, one morning, I got up to walk to the bathroom and my wife said, what, what's on your back? And it was a, it looked like I got hit by a car. It was a really deep, dark bruise. And at that point, that's when we called my primary care. They did blood workups um, and she said my platelets were very low. She couldn't quite understand why, so she sent me to a hematologist. I had the blood counts drawn there. The doctor called me, me and my wife went in and they said that it was um, M MDS. Um, totally taken back by it, you know, when you're first told that you have any type of cancer, I imagine it's sobering, <laughs> to say the least. Um, and they suggested that I get a second opinion. So I uh, agreed, and one of my friends said, you know, you live less than 10 miles from Dana Farber. People come from all over the world to go there, why don't you go there? And I agreed <laughs> and um, went and met with the doctors and they gave me a course of action. They told me I was very young to have, to have this um, and at first I thought they they were thinking that the MDS would just kind of hang around and linger for a, a number of years and then they'd address when it turned to AML. They said I was low risk um, but within probably six months it had turned into AML. Mm -hmm. 